hard calcium deposits can build up in your eyes, messing with your vision and leading to some other potential complications. I'll break down the four main types of eye calcification along with their symptoms, causes, and treatment options. And at the end of this video, we'll talk about how to prevent these calcium buildups from happening to you in the first place. But heads up, some of the images of eyes affected by these conditions can be a little gross to look at. These calcium salt deposits are similar in texture to little rocks or grains of sand, so you can imagine that that's pretty annoying if it's stuck in your eye. First up is corneal calcification, or band keratopathy. This is where calcium builds up in your cornea, often in a horizontal band across the center of your eye. Your corneas are the very front surfaces of your eyes that are responsible for a lot of the focusing of light that your eyes do. This is the most common type of eye calcification, but thankfully still only affects 0.1 to 0.3% of people. But it happens extra frequently in people with some of the certain types of underlying conditions that we'll touch on in a second. Symptoms include a scratching or irritating feeling, redness in your eyes, blurry vision, and feeling some kind of foreign object in your eyes. It can especially hurt if some of the deposits break off and then scratch your eyes. This can happen when the calcium levels in your blood are thrown out of whack, which can happen because of some immune conditions like juvenile idiopathic arthritis or discoid lupus. Hypercalcema, where you have too much calcium in your blood, can also happen because of issues with certain glands called parathyroid glands, and that causes corneal calcification. Eye diseases like glaucoma or chronic eye inflammation can also lead to this but you can treat corneal calcification. The most common treatment is chelation, where you get minerals or metals to bind to another substance so your body can remove that unwanted substance, which in this case is the calcium deposits. So doctors may apply this to your eyes, which lets your body take out those calcium deposits, and then they use a laser to blast away the few remaining pieces and smooth out parts of your cornea. You can go home the same day as having this procedure, but you may need to have some kind of protective thing over your eyes for up to two weeks, like a bandage contact lens. The second main type of eye calcification is retinal calcification, where instead of these little calcium salt crystals building up in your corneas on the front of your eyes, they build up on your retinas, which is the light sensitive material on the back of your eyes. This is less common than corneal calcification, but it can happen in some cases where people have eye tumors or inherited retinal conditions. It can cause spots or flashes of light, as well as losing part of your field of view if it gets bad. Retinal calcification can be caused by certain genetic conditions like retinoblastoma, a rare childhood cancer of the retina, simply aging, or different degenerative eye conditions like retinitis pigmentosa or age-related macular degeneration. If this gets bad, surgery can be done, but the surgery usually isn't done just specifically because of retinal calcification. It's done to address whatever the underlying cause of this is. Depending on the cause, some of the gel in your eyes may be removed, or a laser may be used to seal or destroy damaged sections of the retina. The third type of eye calcification is called optic nerve head drusen, where calcium buildup happens on your optic nerve, the thing that sends signals from your retinas that detect light to your brain so that it can interpret those signals and you understand what you're looking at. A lot of the time, people with this don't actually experience symptoms, but if it gets super bad, it could lead to some blind spots in your vision or tunnel vision where you start losing your peripheral vision. Whether or not you get optic nerve head drusen is mainly genetic, but scientists are also really just not sure of the exact causes of this. Most of the time you don't really need treatment for optic nerve head drusen. Like I mentioned, a lot of the time there isn't symptoms, but in some more extreme cases, you may have doctors give you some medication that lowers the pressure in your eyes and that reduces the risk of optic nerve damage. And the fourth and final type of eye calcification is conjunctival or eyelid calcification. And this is where the calcium deposits build up on the clear membrane over your eyes, which is called your conjunctiva, or on your eyelids. Thinking about having hard crystals in my eyelids freaks me out a little bit. Like some of the other eye calcification types we talked about, this can lead to irritation, red eyes, and feeling like you just have something stuck in your eyes. And just like optic nerve head drusen, the exact causes of this eyelid calcification aren't exactly known, but they tend to be correlated with chronic eye inflammation and just getting older. 
Lubricating eye drops can really help the discomfort that comes with this, but in serious cases with a lot of annoying irritation or discomfort, minor surgery may be performed to remove the hard calcium deposits. However, there are some things you can do to prevent any of these types of eye calcification from happening to you in the first place. Prolonged exposure to UV or ultraviolet radiation can lead to an increased risk of calcification, especially the first corneal type that we talked about at the beginning. So wearing UV blocking sunglasses when you're outside can really reduce the potentially harmful UV exposure. And that also reduces your risk of other eye conditions like cataracts or macular degeneration. And since eye calcification is so linked to other underlying health conditions, just managing things like your calcium levels, blood pressure, and eye inflammation can either help stop you from getting calcification in the first place or definitely preventing it from getting worse. Drinking lots of water actually helps with your blood calcium levels, and eating healthy and exercising helps with pretty much every other underlying condition. Regular eye exams are super important for early detection and treatment of eye calcification, especially if you have any family history of this. Catching eye conditions early is just the best thing you could potentially do to end up with a better final outcome. What other eye-related topics would you like me to talk about? Please leave a comment if you think of something interesting. Thanks.